Let's come and have a look here. Prisoner. Massive tuna, eh? That is the best thing I've ever seen, man. I can't believe this. Okay, so here we are at the front of Sydney Fish Market. We're gonna go inside and see what's going on in here, see what type of animals they're dragging out the ocean and murdering. And, uh, you know, we're focusing on fish with this campaign, sea animals, marine animals. We're gonna see what animals are being tortured and left out on the floor over there for people to come and buy and put in their restaurants. Let's do it. Crab, lobster, prawns. Just come and have a look here. Trina. Yellowfin? It's a yellowfin tuna, I think. Wow. I think these crabs they might be alive. Yeah. yeah. They're just barely alive. It's in there tied up. This one here is looking, see? Terrified, probably. Terrified, look, he can't defend himself. Claws are tied up. See, look. See how terrified? Yeah, so this little crab here, terrified. He can't defend himself. The hands are tied up and they're stuck in this bucket here waiting to be killed or sold off to someone to be killed. They're basically enslaved, these little animals. They're imprisoned in here, but you see, it's special for live lobster, so they're selling them alive. Snow crabs. See, these ones here are hiding in the corners, huh? See? They're trying to hide. See what I mean? There's less of them in here, so they're trying to like... I think, um... I think because some of them have been taken out, these ones are trying to not be taken out, like they're trying to hide in the corners. Because someone, they keep pulling them out and not coming back, so I think they're smart enough to know if they hide, they might not get grabbed first. You see all these ones here in the corner. They have no protection, they can't escape or hide behind a rock or anything like this. They're basically exposed and vulnerable, waiting to be murdered. See, look at this little one. The little eyes looking at me. Right, isn't it? Look at them crammed in here. Crammed in here. So many in this one. Have you seen this? So this hole in the head here is where they, they, this tuna has been stabbed in the head on the boat to kill them. See, straight through there. Come have a look at these mud crab here. Prisoner. Slave. So here we have fruits that are actually not sentient beings. Um, Beautiful fresh fruit here, you know. It doesn't feel the same to look at like a little fruit store here as it is to see the crabs with their claws tied up or stuck in a tank, you know, or a fish with a big hole in their head laying there dead, does it? It doesn't just feel the same. This is what we're meant to be eating. And out there is an abomination. So this is a flounder, squid, baby octopus. Look at these. Little babies. Maybe octopus. Snapper. You can just see their eyes. You can probably picture how long it took them to die suffocating on the, the, the deck of a boat. You can actually see the scratches on their body here. See? Where they've been pulled out of the boat. See, they've got greys here. Wow. Can you just get a close-up of these animals here, man? Like their faces? Just look at, the, look at their faces, man. Beautiful blue dots all over them, but their faces.
is stinky, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no worries, mate. So we get some. Yeah. Massive tuna, eh? Yellow fin. It's huge, dude, eh? It's massive. Look at them. These come from the USA. These crabs, Pacific. This is fish row. This is the eggs, I'm pretty sure. Fish row. Yeah, yeah. It's the egg sack cut out of a fish. It's more terrified uh, crabs that says do not touch because they will try to bite you. I, don't, I wouldn't blame them either. So these are cut off the, the animal. But if this was a cow or a pig, like having cow heads or pig's heads would be offensive to people. But see, fish are viewed much below even the status of cows and pigs in society. So like, it's fine to have a fish head there. Like no one would really think too much of it. This one here, you can actually just see in the face how, how they suffocated before they died. See. Do you have a grouper? Sorry? Grouper? Grouper. grouper? Is this a grouper here? Uh, like cod. Ah, OK. Similar. Similar to a grouper, it looks very sad. Just want to have a look here. Salmon from the inland. This is wild salmon? Is this wild salmon? No, no, farm, fish, farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Farm salmon. So you, not all of this fish is farm, no way. Not all of this fish. The salmon, and trout. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The rest is wild. Wild caught. Fresh water. Fresh water. Wow. Scorpion fish, check these out, dude. They, they have, when they uh, open their gills up, they have a spike, so. So basically, like it, the guy in there was saying, most of those fish are dragged out of the ocean, except for the, the trout and the salmon and a couple of others. But when people eat a salmon <laughs> or a trout, they think, oh, wow, I'm just getting it from like this local fisherman who's like, reeling it in on his boat, but really they're coming from disgusting factory fish farms where like, if you'd seen the, the amount of feces that comes out of these things, they were saying like the, the in Seaspiracy, the fish farms, the salmon farms in Scotland produce the same amount of waste as the people in Scotland itself, like, which is insane amount of feces just from fish farms. So, yeah. You see all the seabirds hanging around here? Seagulls and this little spoon build one. Just pallets and pallets of murdered animals, eh? So in just walking up to the fish market, you can smell the bodies of rotten animals, eh? Like, but they also have seafood restaurants here that people can just eat the bodies of these dead animals. And because people are so accustomed to that smell, they just smell it they smell fish and they think, oh yeah, food. But really it's an awful, pungent, disgusting, dead odor of the rotting bodies of sea animals. Yet they can, serve, they can have restaurants at the same place they have essentially what is like a morgue for fish. You know, you can eat the cooked bodies of the fish at a massive industrial fish morgue. It's pretty crazy. That is the best thing I've ever seen, man. I can't believe this. Hello. Hello, Mr. Pelican. <laughs> they think we're gonna feed them. I reckon the, the other guys feed them, eh? I've never, I don't think I've ever seen pelicans up this close. Maybe when I was a little kid. I've never had a photo with pelicans. That's a great, that's the coolest thing ever. Look how adorable their little faces are. Are these pelicans always here? Oh, they come for a feed every now and then because the boys will throw them a whiting or something. But and then they, they remember, eh? Yeah, they, they, they're always around the market though. You'll see them sitting at the top of the roof. 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> fly down whenever they, they see the trucks. Coming. The same two? The same two pelicans? Nah, there's probably about six or seven of them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at him, he's trying to get in the store, dude. <laughs> look. He's trying to get in there, man. <laughs> what are you doing, cheeky little they bugger? Pat if you beat them. They let you pat him? Oh wow, I wish we had some of that vegan fishless fillet here then. Hello darling. Who's trying to get into? Why don't you guys go vegan? Like, use two pelicans. What I'm actually surprised about is that they, humans haven't like figured out a way to exploit and kill the pelicans, you know what I mean? They're, they're quite large birds, like they, why don't, wouldn't surprise me if one day they're factory farming these birds because not much, not too much different to a turkey, a large animal like this. Okay, so that was our Sydney fish exploitation, you know, market. It was horrible to see those animals tied up. The crabs couldn't defend themselves. Usually they can defend themselves. They really are so vulnerable and it was terrifying to, you know, try to imagine what it's like, you know, a bunch of alien-like creatures looking over you and your arms are tied up like that. It's probably the thing that affected me the most in there and, um, you know, the faces of those fish who were like frozen in time from the time they suffocated and the look in their eyes with their mouth open. You can only just imagine what it's like to suffocate slowly to death on the deck of a boat or underneath a bunch of a school of fish who are also suffocating, you know. Um, horrible or like getting spiked in the head on the boat like that yellowfin tuna that we've seen. What isn't on display in the Sydney fish market is all of the bi-kill. Like I've heard estimates of around 40% of the catch is actually bi-kill that's thrown back overboard. So that's any, any species of fish they aren't targeting, but it also includes, you know, sharks and dolphins and, you know, seals and other marine life that people favor. So yeah, so when you're seeing a bunch of fish in boxes and you know big cartons of fish think about what you aren't seeing which is the fishing nets all in the ocean that are choking animals all the bike kill the dolphins that are being you know booted off boats and you know just the horrible amounts of destruction that the trawling nets are causing just to target like one species of fish it's crazy insane amounts of suffering and it's just plundering the ocean and ruining the lives of trillions of animals every year just for that little uh, seafood platter. Taste pleasure, disgusting. Can I just look at the hooks? I want the one that's gonna, that's gonna really stab into the face to pull them out. Now this is like a prison for the animals, but uh, people- farming. It's interesting is people will pay to go in and see these animals, but they'll then go into a restaurant and pay for other sea animals to be murdered. 